you know, some days, some days you just have to be in the right mood before you do an article. I've been sitting on this one for a couple of days, chosen the right frame of mind to talk about this one. Hello everyone. I am Becca Random 42, your favorite YouTube harpy. Survey says political beliefs may explain why fans don't like, are we still, are we still trying to force politics into your bullshit? Are we still trying to force politics into things where they don't belong? Like your little articles instead of just admitting it's a bad movie. It's not a good movie. It doesn't make sense. It goes against characters that are already established. It does nothing with the, some of the characters that it has in the movie. Like what the crap did Finn do in the whole entire thing? And, and who cares about Ray? Who really cares about Ray? And we know that people don't actually care about these characters because you needed Mark Hamill and, and Harrison Ford to go out and promote the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. You need them to promote the movie. You have to say Skywalker in the movie because there's certainly no Skywalkers in the Skywalker saga, in the Disney Skywalker saga anyway. And it's just to the point where I get so tired of correcting these these article writers. You know, these people like Helen Armitage here who probably doesn't realize how many people that don't like The Last Jedi lean left or center or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, actually, you, you, you know, when I was a kid, there was a time when we would go against the, the censorship and the PMRC and the moral majority and all the fucking killjoys and buzz and all these people who would, who would say, oh, you can't do that. You can't say that. Guess what? Yes, I can. I can say that. And I'm going to say that. I'm tired of these people. And not only that, I have a violent reaction to people who try and talk politics to me because here's the thing. I don't care what side you're on. Don't talk politics to me, period. Don't talk politics to me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear what you believe one way or another. My mother does this all the time. Shut the hell up. I don't want to hear it. Or just because, no, 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 no. Don't talk politics to me. I don't want to hear it. And guess what? Neither do the people who are watching Star Wars. Neither do the people who are watching Star Wars. You cannot sit there with your stupid little survey of people that you poll or that you put in a little group. This is the same article that, that came out last year around this time. I remember articles like this about a year ago where they're like, oh, you know, Kelly Marie Chan and blah, 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 and they're all bots. This is the same type of crap, right? And we found out that that was fake because the guy who wrote that and did all the research just wanted to be Ryan Johnson's dingleberry or something, just be a little star fucker. That's all he wanted, right? But no, they, 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 they're swearing a survey on the Star Wars fandom. Yeah, right? Star Wars fandom. What, what is this article now? From Screen Rant. That's nothing. That's, why would you link that? Why would you link that? Has found that political beliefs could be a reason why many fans dislike that. No, we didn't like it because you didn't do anything with the characters. You gave us a bunch of these stupid Mary Sues who don't have any, anything on screen that we care about. I don't care about these people. I don't care about this fucking Ray. She's boring and stupid. I don't care about her. I don't care. I don't want to see some dumb girl who just cries <laughs> or goes around. I'm perfect. I did everything because I'm amazing. I don't care. I don't care. And that's one of the problems with modern, modern female characters is that they're too damn perfect. I don't want a perfect character. Give me somebody who has some growth. You know, give me somebody who, oh, she got a little boo-boo on her arm. She got a little, yes, so, so have I. I have, I've had many. I've had a few on my days. <gasps> And you know, you know what? I'm not perfect. And I'm tired of seeing these perfect women because it's insulting. It is insulting to see women who are perfect in every way, except, except maybe their bodies, I suppose, because they're not allowed to have pretty people on screen anymore. Because that was, that was always the thing. You know, we'd have pretty people on screen with the perfect bodies. Then people are like, I don't want to see a pretty perfect body because it makes me feel bad. Guess what? Makes the rest of us feel bad that you got these little perfect people who don't contribute anything to the movie. All she does is lift rocks because she didn't get it because she doesn't understand. And neither do people like Brian Johnson who made the movie. Uh, she comes no surprise. They have some pretty strong opinions about the edit installment. And you know what? I didn't hate it as much as the rest of you. 
I, I'll admit it. I didn't hate it as much as the rest of you. <sighs> Given how divisive The Last Jedi was. Yeah, I know, I know. Of course, Star Wars The Last Jedi got plenty of glowing reviews. Who cares? Who cares? You know, if you want, if you want to love it, go love it. I don't care. I am tired of the media trying to smear and bring politics. You know, fuck this article. Fuck this article. We're not even going to read the whole thing. I'm not even going to read the whole article because it's pointless. I don't care what they have to say. I don't care what you guys have to say. You can assume it is political why people don't like The Last Jedi. And then you can talk to somebody like me who has a violent reaction when people start talking politics. Either way. Either way. Right? Because I don't agree with anybody politically. Anybody. No, none of you. Not a one of you. I don't, I don't agree with any of you politically. I'll agree a little bit here and there about some people. Maybe. Maybe. But no, I don't care. And that's, that's beside the point. Not a once, not a once have I talked to anybody in the fandom menace community or any of that who said any of these things. They just said, no, we don't want, we don't want these stupid women characters coming in male bashing. I agree. I don't want these stupid women coming, characters coming in out of nowhere, being the best thing ever and telling you, oh, you're just a man. You don't count. I don't like that. Nobody likes that. I wouldn't like it if it was a man saying, oh, you're just a little woman and you just get a little pat. I wouldn't like it either way. I don't like it when, when these characters are just shit. Yeah, because that's what they are. At the end of the day, characters are written poorly with no mono motivation, no established anything. They're all over the place. Ro like Rose Tico is just ADHD, nothing, just crazy. She goes from crying one second to, to, to happy the next and like in the same scene. <laughs> You've got Holdo who's like, what What are you going to do? Try and, try and screw Poe? What the hell's wrong with you? Before she talks down to it? Like, seriously, I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing articles where they're trying to make things political. I'm tired of seeing any of these. <laughs> I'm just tired of stupid. I'm just tired of stupid. And until they can get it through their heads... I'm not even going to finish their articles. I'm not going to read their whole thing. I don't care what they have to say on this one because they're not smart. They're not doing anything other than just pushing their little stupid talking points over and over again. The, you know, oh, for, they, they, they get, they get these little talking points. They get their little, their little scripts. They get their little things. You know, it's, it's just like you see on, on Conan O'Brien where they, they take all the newscasters that all basically read the same article. They read the same Associated Press article and they all say it in a different way, just a slightly different ways, different inflection on different words, but it's all the same text. And that's all these, these articles are too, is just somebody from probably Lucasfilm, Disney, somebody in their little, in their little marketing and PR thing, uh, firm said, oh, we need to push this narrative. We need to push this narrative of Solo sucked and it's a good thing. We need to push this narrative of trolls and man babies. So we got to make sure we use that little, th those little words. And even when people change their script and change what they say and rewrite it, They'll, they're still seeing these words sprinkled in like troll, man, baby, politics, conservative, liberal, whichever you say. And they use that to divide us. They use that to split us apart. And I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm so ready to just call these people out and say enough. If you're going to talk politics to us, get away. Just go. Stop. Stop. We don't want you talking politics to us. This is Star Wars. This is about, this is about people with laser swords, okay, <laughs> flying around in spaceships. This is where, where space, we don't, we don't know how fast the Millennium Falcon goes. I can tell you how fast warp speed is, you know, <laughs> like seriously, it's, it's, it's fantasies, people flying around fighting bad guys, fighting space Nazis. Yeah, slightly political, but, but it's one of those things where there's such, it's such an evil that you can kind of always see, okay, good guys, bad guys, good guys, bad guys. Now that's not the case. That is so not the case with any of this. And until, until they realize they need to stop with this crap, we're not going to give them money. We're not going to keep buying their crap. We're not going to keep promoting them. We're not going to keep being fans of this stuff until they can just shut their goddamn mouths on. I'm so tired of this. I am so tired of this. <sighs>
tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm not even going to link the article. Don't uh, watch, watch the article, read the article on an archive. Do not give them a click. Don't give them a click. I'm, I'm not, I'm tired of rewarding the journalism, the, these journalists for this crap. I'm tired of rewarding their hate clicks and I will be using the archives. I will be using everything when I look up these sites. I've never had to, I don't think I've had to do the theme music and whip out the writing crop on Screen Rant before. Like they've been fair, or have I? I might have, I don't remember. Usually it's the Mary Sue, but yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I just had to get a little rant off my chest. I am MechaRandom42. You can uh, send me all your gifts and cool crap and all the stuff. Not crap, totally not crap, all the cool stuff to MechaRandom42, PO Box 1566, Love in Colorado 80539, or as always, you can find me on Midnight's Edge After Dark, Creepy Little Book, or wherever you find me. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!